What's up guys, Rush of Life here. This is an update on my Team Associated B64D. Or B64D. Um, this is an update. So, I've re I've tightened down the suspension because the track I race at has nice jumps, but I kind of sometimes over jump them when I'm, when I'm racing and I land hard. So I just set these up so they're stronger. So, um, kind of displaces the, displaces the uh, impact from coming landing off the jump. Um, re brand new hard A arm because I broke two already of the right side because I was coming off a tabletop jump and the wall there's a wall right here and I keep on hitting it because every time I crash it throws my steering off. I don't know why, so I have to retrim it. And when I'm racing, I uh, really you can't there's like no time to trim it, trim something when you're racing, so you just kind of have to stick with it till the end of the race. And I didn't know how close I was coming off the jump and I. Hit the wall and broke an arm. So, yeah. Um, as you know, I got an Exotec wing mount. Aluminum. It's great because the stock one broke during my first race ever. And I won that race. But so far, this thing has won many races for me at the local RC track. But recently, uh, like in the past few races, I haven't been, I haven't been doing so good because there's a new... And my box fell out. But, um... There's a couple people that just joined the full drive mod class that are pretty quick and yeah, I got got my way, but whatever, it's racing. Um, TLR, TLR wing, these things are awesome. I love these. They come in a two pack, pre cut. All you gotta do is just body ream your holes, and I haven't broken one of these yet. Um, hope I don't break it on on Sunday or Friday because that's when I race. Um, Same thing with the rear. I kind of stiffen up the rear a little bit. Just a little bit, not much. Um, and I'll show you what I did because this is the main part of the update. Just let me get the body off for you guys. I'm sorry. I don't have like five arms. So I can't really pull the camera. Take it off. All right. As you know, you can't really see it because the cover. I have a Reedy 5.5 uh, five in here. A 5.5 turn motor. Because I had the 8.5 in here, and it's been doing good um, until um, other people have gotten faster in my class. So I, I was like, okay, I want to get back and getting more wins. So I put a Reedy Sonic 5.5 in here, Mach 3. All my motors are Mach 3, the new Reedy motors and everything. Just This is the 5.5. I reset the connection, the wires, because they did go like over here. I just made them go straight over here. So they're kind of short. But I redid the pinion. Now it has a 19 tooth. Hopefully it does good. Then I have a, a motor fan on here to keep it cool. Because these 5.5s five get pretty hot. And um, the one race in between um, the heats. I changed the motor out. Because I wanted to be faster. Because I was slower. So I changed my motor out to this motor. during um, the, before, before the heats. And when my race came out. I did. I almost finished the race until this motor made my ESC overheat, and that's because I wasn't thinking and I didn't change the pinion because my 8.5 motor had a 22 tooth pinion or 21. I can't remember. It's like one. Uh, I think it's a 22, and I put the 22 tooth pinion on the 5.5, and my ESC overheated. It was like 140 or some. It was. It, was, it overheated. I couldn't. Uh, go fast anymore um so after i let it cool down for five minutes i floored it and it was crazy fast again so ec overheated i geared it down more hopefully that helps got a motor fan on here this fan is hopefully going to spin faster because when it knows it needs it's drawing power so it wants to keep this thing cool because i'm i'm i think these escs have like a sensor when i get it when they get too hot the fan spins higher i guess i think i hope um, other than that, that's not much of my car. Um, I put bullet connectors on here. Um, that's pretty much it about my B64D. Except that I just got a 5.5 in here and changed the pinion and a motor fan. I got my transponder moved back more. Um, and uh, in between my one race, I blew this inner bearing right here. Right there, I blew that bearing out. Because 
uh, the curve coming out the straightaway. Here, the straightaway is like this, and the curve like over here. Because when I come around the curve, almost halfway, I floor it, and this this wheel, because this is the, because the center diff when you floor it, these wheels spin faster. Because um, these wheels aren't getting enough traction; these are just spinning real fast. And when you come around the corner, uh, your car goes like this. So this wheel gets less traction. So this wheel was spinning at like 80 miles an hour or something like that. It was pretty quick. And so this, this bearing is just spinning really fast and it annihilated itself. So I put a new one in there. Hopefully she holds up with the new 5.5. Five. Probably won't. But I'm going to get a bearing rebuild. Not bear rebuild, but I'm going to get a couple bearing sets. And um, I got a new set of arms on the way. So I'm I'm gonna get another set. So I have four a arm, four spare a arms, and I already have a spare for the rear. And um, for some reason on the, on Amazon, I can't find spare a arms for the B60. That's my two wheel drive race car. Uh, yeah, I, can't, I don't know why. So I'm gonna have to order them off eBay or buy them at, at my uh, RC shop. Anyway, um, the tires I run on this thing are Pro or RG Concepts barcodes. Octagons and the new tires I'm gonna be running are Proline uh, Positrons. So that is my personal B64D, and this is an update again, guys. Um, further updates or things I want to do to this, I might change the center diff to the slipper, so uh, I'll have more uh, punch coming out of a corner or something like that. Because when you floor it, these tires just spin because the center diff. I put thicker. Diff oil in here, diff, yeah, diff oil, because it had like 200, 000, 200 or 400,000 in here. I think, you know, it was 200,000 diff fluid. I put 500,000 in here. So it's a lot thicker, takes off faster, but with a slipper clutch in here, it would just take off like a bullet. But it'll wear down my rear wheels more, but whoop de doo. I'll just stick with, I'll just stick with the diff right now, the center diff. I got a, Aluminum steering rack, uh, not this, not this part, just this part, the steering rack. So that was up. That I got that upgrade a while ago, like after a couple uh, weeks after I got the car. Um. Oh, uh, another thing I did, I put Velcro on here because I hated doing the body clips because they just started coming through my my body and everything. So I just Velcroed it, and Velcro does good. Hold on tight. Um, hopefully, I haven't done any practice laps yet. So Friday night, I'm gonna go to track and do some practice before Sunday, cause Sunday is a race day. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get some practicing, guys. So that's my update on my Team Associated B64D. So see you guys.